the hundreds by now, man. Um, if not the nineties or something like that. But um Ah, oh, shit. What's this? Man? Meantime, our news of the morning is breaking out of Akakeek, Maryland, where police are investigating a late night car gathering that turned deadly. That's right. Two men were shot and killed, pronounced dead on the scene. Fox 5, Stephanie Ramirez has been on the scene all morning long since before 4 a.m. And now she's speaking with the family. Hey, Steph. Hey, Steve and Stephen. So family members some eight hours later are still here on scene. We actually just saw them gather at the location behind us and they were praying together in a circle. I'm going to step aside here, though, and show you what it looks like. The folding chair still left from the event that happened last night. The family members still in shock, saying they do not know who opened fire here at the Manakee uh, Village Center parking lot. We're told nobody ever know. No, nobody know who pulled out a gun and shot everybody. Hundreds of people were here last night for a car gathering. The sisters of the two men killed are pleading this morning with the participants here last night to please share any information they have with police. We know Prince George's. Yeah, but you can't come to no more car events if you tell the police who did this shit. You excommunicated, man. You, 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 um, yeah, you banned from the car club, man. Car gathering. Police, they responded to Whoa. shots fired. At a packed car meet at around 11:45 last night. Now, those here tell Fox 5 this isn't the type of car gathering that lawmakers have been cracking down on, where drivers are racing or doing donuts. Family members told us for years people have been participating in an organized car show here in Akakeek, where they just park the cars and enjoy, is what we were told. Now, the family of one of the men killed says one victim is in his 60s. Tamala Swan tells me her brother killed is in his late 40s and that he is also handicapped. It was his mobility scooter we saw on scene this morning, surrounded by over 30 evidence markers. He was the nicest guy. He had the prettiest smile. Very handsome, handsome guy. And he loved the world and he loved everybody. Anybody that you ask, he, they would tell you that they don't have, they wouldn't have a beef with him because he was such a good guy. And this senseless killing has got to stop. Clearly, there are still a lot more questions we don't have answered this morning, including whether the car meet was uh, sanctioned this gathering here. What we can tell you, though, is there is a third person who's also suffering gunshot injuries this morning. That person, a man. Now to Prince George's County, where police are searching for whoever opened fire in a parking lot, killing these two men. They are 48-year-old Sheldon Proctor. Well, hold up. This is after the... Patrick's this is a vigil for the other shooting, or? Yeah, this is the same shoot. This is the same one as we just the last one. The boy. This all happened at around 11.45 last night at the Manakeek Village Center in Akakeek, Maryland. Witnesses telling WUSA 9 that that shooting happened during a vigil. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz. So there was a vigil. It was a vigil. It wasn't the car show. It was a vigil after the car show. I've spoken to the family members of both men who lost the Hold on. What? <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. Car meet up, two shot, one injured at car meet up, and two men killed during vigil. What the fuck? Hold on, Please tell me they're not different. <laughs> Camping. Hey, Rafa, you're learning more about why these men were there in the first place. Yeah, Leslie, witnesses tell us that both men had participated in a car and motorcycle show in this parking lot here. They tell us it wasn't the type of car meetup that you see with dangerous driving that closes intersections, but a family friendly event. Some people stayed behind to hold a vigil right here, a vigil that turned deadly. Buck Proctor says he was supposed to be going to the racetrack today with his son Shelton, but instead, he had to pick up his son's van and scooter from this crime scene. I thought it was bad enough my, my wife and my mother leave The me. Proctor family, they're a big family in um, Maryland. The Proctors, they are by, they only like marry like light-skinned people, mulattoes. They're a very mulatto family. They're very, a lot of cops, a lot of doctors, a lot of lawyers um, in Prince George's County. Um... They're um, a, a, a very, um, a very, um, 
what do you call it? Uh, well known family, like no everybody. dark butts allowed, affluent, uh, none, yeah, none, none allowed. Like, you can't marry no dark butts in their family. Um, they be saying that they, 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 um, they, they're so, uh, what do you call it? Um, race conscious or conscious like that, that they, um, are accused oftentimes of inbreeding. You know what I'm saying? The proctors, um, they're, they're accused oftentimes of inbreeding because they only believe in, in, in reproducing with, um, mulattoes and shit, right? So, uh, they, but they're a big family in, um, in, um, PG County. Um, in fact, the officer that arrested me um, in 1997, for, not arrested me, but um, assaulted me, and I, and I had a we I was part of a class action lawsuit in PG County. Uh, uh, but 1997, yeah, um, he was a proctor, big light skinned nigga too, man, motherfucker, slammed me down and everything. It was it was a misunderstanding when I look at it now because. They, I was, I was, you know, driving. I didn't have my lights on, and they pulled me over, and I kept going and pulled into the mall, and then pulled over, and that pissed them off. And when I got out the car, he was mad as shit, and then he grabbed me and put, put and slammed me on the ground and shit. But then they let me go. They didn't even arrest me. They let me go. Then I got home and shit. My mom, I had a busted lip. My mom was like, "What happened?" She was like, "I'm like, oh, the cops." And, blah, blah, blah. and then um, one of the Proctor the boys station. did me. <laughs> yeah, it took me to police station next day. Filed a police report and shit like that. Um, what they call them shits when when you against police? Uh, God damn, what they call that shit? When you um a got a grievance against the cops? A point. Yeah, complaint. Yeah, complaint and shit. And then it got scooped up in this big lawsuit because the PG County was allegedly um most they were rough because they, you know, they didn't want niggas from DC coming out there doing shit. So if you had DC tags and shit like that, it was kind of like, you know, you know, extra and shit. So it was a big class action lawsuit. And they kept telling them, oh, yeah, you're going to get paid. You're going to get paid. And one year go by, two years go by, and then they settled. But it was so many people in the lawsuit that we didn't get any money. No, I ain't get nothing. They they took, they only took a certain, they, they like took a certain amount of the cases and they dropped a bunch of the cases. So it was like, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. That was a crazy time, man. That was another life ago, man. Um, but yeah. Um, proctors, man, the proctors, they're, uh, um, that's interesting that that dude that got killed was a proctor. Uh, it said, I heard rumors for years about them inbreeding to stay light and every third generation getting hella dark brothers just to keep the melanin Why flowing. does that make any sense? I don't know. This is just. You wash your jeans like really well, get all the yeah. dirt out. Why would you go throw a bunch of mud? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't believe that part. Um, uh, they, yeah, I don't believe we that. We hate part. our dogs yeah. him, but we got to stay black. Yeah, this is them. They're 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 a they're a mulatto family, man. I mean, they're a mulatto. Uh, Quintuple Octoroon. Yeah, they 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 some mulattoes, man. They they keep it they keep it lotto, Jack. Um, he says I read on here that many descendants of the Proctors have eyesight problems due to all the incest via keeping them light skin. <laughs> also, Cam Newton's baby mother is a Proctor, but she introduced some genetic diversity <laughs> into the bloodline. <laughs> Oh, Stedman is. I didn't know Stedman was a proctor. That makes sense, though. 
I know he was a correctional officer down in D.C. area. Um, that makes sense. For Stedman, he looked like he looked like one of the proper funny looking motherfuckers. But yeah, anyway, man, that's these people that um these black people in that photo. Yeah, um Yeah, that's these family RIP to the Proctor that died, man. Buck Proctor says he was supposed to be going to the racetrack today with his son Shelton, but instead he had to pick up his son's van and scooter from this crime scene. I thought it was bad that my my wife and my mother leave me a month and a half apart. Now Sheldon gone. Prince George's County Police say that last mm. night at around 11.45, 48-year-old Sheldon Proctor and 55-year-old Patrick Savoy were found dead in the parking lot of the Manakeek Village Center. A third man transported himself to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Witnesses say shots rang out during a vigil that followed a car and motorcycle show. Nothing to do with the car show. Car show is over there. Savoy's family members tell us the vigil was for his cousin, who died just a couple of days ago. The whole thing was done for a motorcycle club when the lady had died, and she was part of the club. Police have yet to reveal the motive behind the shooting, mm. but Proctor's family says they believe Sheldon was an innocent bystander. It broke his back in five places, and he can't walk. He can't walk. He tried to. Sheldon was paralyzed from the waist down following a dirt bike accident, but that didn't stop his love for motorcycles and cars. They wouldn't have a beef with him. Dang. What the fuck? Yeah, he probably ain't had nothing to do with it. His love for motorcycles and cars. They wouldn't have a beef with him because he was such a good guy. And this mm. senseless killing has got to stop. This morning, father says all he wants is justice. What would you say to them? What would I say to him? Give yourself up. Yes, yeah, Savoy's family tells us they also want whoever's responsible for the shooting to turn themselves in. Prince George's County Police is offering up to $25,000 for anyone who can provide information to make an arrest. Imagine, Ooh. imagine having an opportunity to speak to the killer and you waste your breath with <laughs> turning yourself in. <laughs> 